<laughs> There's something missing, you know. Something obvious. I can't quite put my finger on it. Customers? Mm. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, no, I mean, in the lineup of entertainment. I mean, we can't keep catering for the same old punters day in, day out. Mm. I agree. Well, you can forget your OAPs. One afternoon a week's quite enough. I was thinking of more on the line with punters with money to burn. No, so do I. Um, uh, what about cashing in on the pink pound? The pink pound? Absolutely. That is what this place needs, a gay night. And how many gay nights have you been to exactly? Uh, none, but that's not the point, is it? Gay nights are big business. Hey, aren't they? Yeah, in Brighton, London, Manchester, but not Charnham. And it's hardly San Francisco, is it? <sighs> well, I was expecting more enthusiasm from you, of all people. It's a good idea. I just think it might be a little too progressive for around these parts. Well, I think we should give it a try. You never know who might come out. Of the woodwork, I mean. <sighs> but gay people have bags of disposable income and they like to have a good time. Oh, I see. So all of a sudden we're exploiting an uncated for minority. Oh, don't be silly. I can't believe you're accusing me of insensitivity towards gays. Yeah, well, it has been a bit of a game for you recently, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just mean that it's all very well us sitting here talking about it like we're the world's most liberal couple. But, you know, having a gay night can attract the wrong crowd as well. Oh, I see what you mean. You know, Samuel Charnam's still stuck in the Stone Age. I have to think about this carefully. Join the queue. Mm. What does that mean? Well, um, it's a gay night. Um, Q is a kind of code. Um, sounds for queer. <laughs> no, it's perfectly okay. Um, the word's kind of being reclaimed. It's no longer considered offensive. Oh, isn't it? Don't you approve? It's not about approving, Holly. It's just, it's not something I've ever thought about getting involved in. Professionally. Yeah, but you, you're a smart businesswoman. I mean, you must know all about the Pink Pound, and all sorts of bars and clubs thrive off it. So why not the lock, you know? If you don't like the poster, we could call it something different. Alternatively, we could not hold a gay night in the first place. Do you have a problem with gays? No. No, I have not. I just think a gay night in Charnham is asking for trouble. That's what Susie said. You know, the two of you have a very low opinion of the kind of people who live around here, you know? They're not all cavemen. No, maybe not. So why not give it a try? All right. Let's throw caution to the wind. We'll hold one night. Ah! But this is yours and Susie's venture. I'm going to take a back seat. Thank you, Maria. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, it'll be a roaring success. Oh, I hope so. Ah, guess what? Someone's ordered more than one drink. Uh, no. Maria's okayed the gay night. Is she? Mm -hmm. One does not ever cease. She was a bit sceptical, but I talked her around. She said we can have one trial evening. We? Yeah, me and you. She's going to take a back seat so we can just get on with it. Hang on a minute, I haven't agreed to it yet. This is a three-way partnership. Susie, come on, what can go wrong? I mean, people don't turn up, okay, so we misjudge the market. A gay club. Mm. Here. Are you wanting S and M nights, mate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on. I could kiss you. Look, I think we could make a real name for ourselves here. That's what I'm worried about. Start for us, isn't it? No, it's a new start for the lock, if you can call it that. I mean, a few flags and balloons isn't exactly my idea of a grand reopening. But this is our place now. We've worked hard to put it together. You know, we could really make our mark here, and something like the gay night's just going to bring us closer together. I wish you'd just drop that. No, I just want the night to be a success. Don't you want the business to succeed? Yes, of course I do. Well, all you've done is pick at every suggestion I have made. Holly, that's because we have seven nights for a range, not just one. I don't know why you're making all this fuss about this gay thing. No, you are making all the fuss. What's wrong with you? I have nothing to prove. Oh, and what I have? Yes. 
Yes, it's as if you're treating us as some sort of an excuse to, to try it out, like some sort of an experiment. Uh, I'm not listening to you. Yeah, this. well, you should, because it isn't just about wearing bother boots and bomber jackets. Yeah, and what's that supposed to mean? Well, it's as if you're organising this thing to live up to some sort of stereotype, some sort of label, and that is not what it's about. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I've turned into some lipstick lesbian Holly, haven't I? Look, it is not me with a problem about my sexuality, Susie. It's you. How's it looking there? Sparkling. Great! Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> right, posters are up outside. And this place looks tip-top. Oh, thanks, Holly. Hey, thank you both. Pete left this place in such a terrible state. I don't think could have done any of this without you two. Hey, don't put yourself down. You've been running this place single-handed for years. Thanks. I just can't wait to see the punters rolling through those doors like they used to. You wouldn't be saying that when Grandpa Jack and Nick come in here on a bender. Mm. No, probably not. Anyway, it's the busiest time of year with Christmas just around the corner. And uh, what with this happy hour tonight, we should be pretty busy. Well, why don't we beat them and have one before they drink the bar trolley? You've got a sixth sense, Susie Ross. You've just read my mind. Not only has Susie got a sixth sense, but uh, looking at this place, she's got a real woman's touch as well. Is that it then? Just a few more seconds, I think. Two, two, one. Okay. Okay, girls, let them in. Okay. Looks like the guy's going to be a winner. She wants to see how busy it's going to be with the game night. You know, we're not going to be able to cope. Chilly out there, isn't it? Oh, bar's still in the same place then, is it? Tim, Duncan, what a surprise. I never expected you two to turn up in those cheap booze days. Hey, as long as we're welcome. Look, you're always welcome here. Oh, really? Well, trusting that to Thelma and Louise out there. Your bouncers, right? The step. Right, anything else? Yeah, um, a word, if you can spare a minute. Okay. Holly, can you get a couple of booze in for me, please? Thanks. It's about buying your way into the lock. You can forget it. It's a closed book. No way, it isn't about that. Um, just give me two minutes, okay? Now, I've had an idea that could make us both a lot of money. All right, I'm already counting, Duncan. Look, I know I can't bring him, okay? But I'd like the chance to run a night here. Well, what sort of a night? Well, a dance night. There'd be good DJ, some music, lights. No way. No more rave nights. It reminds me too much of Pete. Jeez. No, look, trust me. If I had a night here, it'd be house and garage, yeah? Not a rave. And it'd be properly supervised. I'm not Pete, Maria. Thankfully. Okay, so I was interested. What would be in it for me? Well, you'd get the bar receipts and I'd keep the ticket money. Mm, I don't know. Well, it'd all be properly organised, you know, and, and all the promotions, everything, and all the no extra cost. Tell you what, put it all down on paper and I'll have a look. So I'm in with a chance, yeah? Oh, I can't see any objections if it's all done right. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret this. Uh, oh. Hold your horses, Wonder Boy. I think you've forgotten something. Like what? Uh, our cut, mine and Holly's. We'll be needing a share of the ticket money. <laughs> the, the, the bar receipts would cover that. Either that or nothing. She can't do this to me, can she? You heard her. All or nothing. So, have we got a deal? Deal? Pleasure doing business with you, Duncan. Was it? What a brilliant first day. Oh, it has been good, hasn't it? Such a buzz seeing this place full again. Mm, and beating Duncan at his own game was with icing on the cake. <laughs> Don't be too confident, though. It's what happens when we're not running promotions that will count. Yeah, but I reckon the line of events we've got will work, and even Duncan's if we keep a close eye on him. Yeah, you might be right. Even the OAP afternoon might be a winner. I mean, it'd be a hard slog, though, but I'm mm. sure we can cope with a coach load of over 60s. What about a coach load of gays? I'm not so sure it's such a good idea. Mm, I have to admit, I found it a bit strange, but... Uh, a young girl like you, you must have a few friends who are gay. Well, yeah, but they live in London. Mm. Come on. This is a new beginning, a fresh start. Let's give it a try. I mean, that's what business is all about. I suppose so. Let's take a few risks. The lock's ours. We can do as we please. Let's give Holly's idea a go. You never know. She might surprise us.